If I remember correctly, some of you mentioned that uh, you are teaching yourself. Now, if you are a teacher and if you want to use the Remarkable Paper Pro not only for personal note-taking, but may, may, maybe you want to also use it for presentation purposes, um, then here is a special use case that I find very interesting and I'm definitely going to use in the future. Here is how it works. I'm now going to, what I always do uh, is I create a header section. Um, and if I do this, you know, I start here and I create a line. And you know that you can have this feature that you uh, create a line, you just wait a second uh, and then you can really uh, snap it flat and it is then, uh, you know, you don't need a ruler essentially, you can use this feature to create straight lines easily. Then I am going to, uh, what I usually do here is to do it in red and I create a big title uh, header, uh, usually in uppercase letters, whatever. Hmm. That makes sense to me. Now I'm going back and using this black thin line for drawing and I will also use the highlighter to do some fillings. And what I'm usually doing now is I create, for example, oh, sorry, that was wrong, you know, double tap with the finger and it goes back. This is, of course, what I want. So I create bullet point one, uh, chapter one. Again, I create an underline, which I line straight. And now I'm going to fill this with blue color. I mean, fill. It's really not necessary to be very precise. This is not uh, a Visio draw, uh, drawing or, or any other application that you want to uh, use for that. This is handwriting. This is visual uh, creativity. And this has a flavor of unpreciseness to it. So this is what I'm doing now. Now let's again, you know, I'm a scientist, but this time I start with something which you may know from school and we create here, a, I don't know what this is. Um, yeah, let's do it like this. This is a, a oxy group. This is a, a alcoholic group. This is an aromatic ring. I don't know what this molecule exactly is, but uh, don't worry, it, uh, it it's not so necessary. And then, of course, we can also do a little function uh, and do it like this. Yeah, and x minus 1 to power 3, okay. Uh, and actually, if we want this to be a little bit nicer, because that's now, you know, not so ideal, I could use this and again also here I could wait for this to snap in and I have a proper straight line. You see sometimes these refreshes. So I got a lot of comments uh, and feedback in in my um, under, under some of my videos and I think if this really bothers you this refresh then this device is simply not for you. But if you don't care because you say, okay, that's part of the technology. They have chosen a much more advanced technology with respect to color, but it has some other limitations and it has some flip sides. Well, then this should be fine for you. And then, of course, you can also, um, because now I am creating here chapter two, and this is now chapter two, again, this underlining here uh, and I use the highlighter and you see how this works on the screen and I can I don't know what here let's let's create the diagram I do this now very quickly top and some decision it's a yes no and we can go left and here we have a document and here we have maybe, I don't know, here we have an endpoint of the flow and here we have whatever, I don't know. The advantage of 
manual note taking in a digital way is that you can, for example, at least um, have here uh, some some aid with uh, straight lines. I know that the remarkable apps or note taking features are, co are limited in this respect because on the Onyx you have a full set of decent shapes and so on, for sure. Uh, but what I like here as well is, for example, now I think that the order, sorry, no, see, you see this is a mistake. I take this and I rearrange, rearrange it. Now I have here also something, no, sorry, I, you have to be careful. I would like to reorder that. I put it here and now I am going to... Well, flip this here and move this a little bit there and we have a new structure of the document. What I've done now I, I, is uh, I have uh, any, or selected this uh, copy uh, feature and you see now here copy to clipboard, tap any page with marker to paste. So I could now also say yes, uh, I, I may need this later, let's paste it on page 2. Uh, I don't know, and now I clear the clipboard and now I go back and continue to work on this page. Now, last but not least, let's do a small latency test, uh, which is not producing any meaningful content now. Uh, but I will, if you see these two side by side, the real time video and the screen recording, then you could see how this works. Oh, sorry, sorry for that. So you see really that I can also writing my name. Yeah. Um, well, that's fine. One more thing, which I really wanted to let you know, and I was actually finding this out quite recently. I think this is a very helpful effect. Um, of course, you can do this as well when you're using a PowerPoint with your mouse, etc. But many, uh, many of you were not complaining, but asking why the hell they used a different stylus. Why don't they use the, EM, the ESR technology? Um, because it would have been so, so much easier. Now, number one, I have here another uh, meta pen, which is also USI. And you see, you can use this pen here as well. So there is a certain flexibility and compatibility. It's just a different technology. By accident, this works on my Chromebook. Uh, and therefore, at least, yes, it's a different technology, uh, but I can also reuse it on another device. This stylus has a battery. It's charged if you put it here, as you know. Yeah, you see, that's okay. And if you uh, bring this to the top of the surface, there is a difference between the two technologies because ESR uh, has a capacitive layer, detects uh, there's a little electric capacity and if you enter in this field, then the tip reacts and you see, and this is like a disturbance, and then this is somehow recorded and you draw the line. This one has an active uh, technology because it has a battery and that gives you an effect which I just discovered myself. I didn't know that if you end, if you hold it close to the screen, do you see this red dot? So you can actually use this for real presentations and use it as a, uh, yeah, like a laser pan. Yeah, you can really showcase this. This feature built into the Remarkable makes it even more versatile for me because I am using this for online presentations, for consulting, for coaching, and mainly for giving lectures. So I think this is a really helpful. Oh, I'm using now the highlighter. So I'm now thinking that this makes a lot of sense. And I wanted to show you this feature because that's maybe some use case that you might want to consider for yourself as well. Now, I hope you find this useful because that's something that uh, the Onyx Books series uh, can not do in a similar way. There is a Wi-Fi sharing uh, option uh, even in a web browser, which is uh, definitely also very convenient because you don't need an app, but the latency is much higher. And any other third-party solution requires installation of apps. I know that Miro can do that, even uh, Microsoft OneNote is able to do this, but the low latency and ease of use 
feature uh, as now found on the remarkable uh, Paper Pro, in particular on the Paper Pro using the active pen, which can then also act as a pointer, uh, that is really an interesting option, which to me extends the capability of the, this device even further for educational purposes. I hope you uh, found this useful. Maybe you can u make use of this feature and uh, use it for your own uh, presentations, meetings, webinars, whatever. And uh, yeah, don't forget, please, to like and subscribe as always to help my channel grow. Uh, and I see you in the next one.